Well, greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back once again for the very first time to the Farts and Crap Show, where today, as per usual, it's your host, Anjo, here with part nine of Armored Core Last Raven running on a PS2 Slim and uh, coming at you in 1080-60. You guys are all doing well. And um, yeah, today we're going to keep going through the arena, hopefully just like bopping guys left and right um but yeah each bet is like 100k now ish so uh we just saved um in any case of mishaps i'm just gonna reload because like eh, these bets are getting expensive but uh yeah just using heavy missiles basically that's pretty much it i uh, got micro missiles Extension missiles, um, stuff like that. We're just gonna take them out. Heavy, heavy hits. Oh, wait. Fuck. What did I hit? What does square do? They wanna get close? They wanna get nuts? Get him, get him. Oh yeah. He didn't like that. He didn't like that at all. Wow, that did not... Oh, didn't hit him. He's actually not taking as much damage as I thought. I guess he dodged some of them. Good for him. Probably gonna run out of ammo. Yeah, we're not. We're missing a lot. That's not good. Yeah. Did not work out. So, I said he was somewhat lacking in mobility. He's pretty mobile. But I guess I should stick with the uh, volley of two large missiles per instead of like four. Uh, so let's go ahead and load, because that, yeah, it's like 100k down the hole. That's, it's kind of a lot, you know. It's alright, load times are fine. Let's go into the VR arena, there we go, let's fight Mr. Keepless again. Uh, yeah, I think if I just keep using the, uh, volley of two per, he's got pretty good missile intercept, uh, stuff going on, so I think to keep him on his toes, we'll just keep those large missiles a-coming. too good after that. That's all of them. Please get them. Ah, crap. Still gotta get them out of HP. AP, whatever. Done. There he goes. Not shams. Nah. Yeah, I mean he's pretty good. Pretty good. All right. Uh, who's up next? Got Warlord, lightweight, reverse joint, AC, missile launcher, long range battle machine gun, weapon arms. Oh, okay. Oh, crap. 
fighting in the city. There's so many... This is not good for my current loadout. Like, the fact that he's a lightweight and mobile one, and the fact that we're fighting in the city where, like, my missiles could easily, like, hit buildings instead of him. Yeah, this is probably going to take a few tries. But he does have machine gun arms, so he might try to get in close. We'll just, uh, we'll have to see. So I might be better off with the four volley and, like, just wait for my opening. But he's definitely going to try to dodge when, um... And he sees that large missiles are coming after him. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, unfortunately, the challenge, the the ranker always gets to pick the arena. So, I mean, it's set, but like you don't get a pick, is what my point is. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Or maybe? Oh, there he is. Come on. Come on. Oh yeah, that some of those hit. doing damage. Could have gone better. Should have stuck with my original plan of just like. Uh, firing off two larger missiles at once instead of four. Can I just keep him on his toes? Like, if I do that, then it'll just be focused on dodging the missiles. It's just if I fire four at once and he can't dodge them. Like if, if all four hit, like, he's done. And he has pretty good missile intercept, unfortunately. starts on top of the building. Neither of those hit. Neither of those hit. Enemies have heart destroyed. There we go. Get him. Enemy core yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Get him. 
absolute devastation. That wasn't even, yeah. I mean, those were like the volleys of two. That first one that hit him, man, like that. I think both of them hit because he went from like full health to having like 2400 health. I want to I want to see it from his perspective, though. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, he's using micro missiles too. Cool. There it comes. Yeah, that first one he got both of them. There they are. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hmm. It's all kinds of messed up. Yeah. Worked out quite well. I mean, he was trying to use the cover of the buildings and stuff, but I know how to do that, too. Oh, we got the Ananda. Oh, that's a really good radiator. That's a really good radiator. That's cool. All right, who's up next? Flip-flop, middleweight, two-leg, is equipped with shield, various solid round weaponry. Temperature levels. Yeah, he's using that linear gun. That's a really good one. Cougar two legs, like Icarus, the drone, like I I gotta respect, like this is a good AC build. Why would you use a narrow and deep FCS for this though? I don't get that. I mean maybe there's a good reason for it? Uh, I don't know. Hoping it's like an open arena. It looked like it's in the training space, but I'm not sure on that. Yeah, it is. Okay. Crap, those just went into the ground. That's a problem. Get him. Get him. Try to dodge it. Fuck. None of those hit. Nothing is hitting him. It's kind of like testing at this point to see like how he fights. Alright. Yeah. Out of ammo completely. I think this guy's gonna be about the same. I gotta keep launching the volleys of two instead of going for the f volley of four. It's like none of the large missiles hit him at all. Mm, 
Okay. We got really like twenty minutes. Okay. Hit. Oh, that hit him. Excellent. Got him. Yeah, those large missiles uh, did not agree with him. <laughs> Got him. They got him. Ah, oh, that's satisfying. Looked out a lot better that time. All right, reverse heavy weight quad laying to withstand a great deal of punishment. Oh, really? You think you can withstand a great deal of punishment? All right, you wanna you wanna put that to the test, man? Because uh, I have like the ultimate amount of punishment for you. I mean, I could also use like a one of those automated like core weapon things, or even just like autonomous pods. Kind of like distract them while like the large missiles come in, but I mean this is working, so not really that concerned with it. And like if I equip more stuff, it's just it's gonna slow me down, so. Got high mobilities. Yeah, okay. Oh, feeling confident. Crap. Yeah, he's pretty fast. Oh, that almost had him. No, they did have him. <laughs> did that take down all of his HP all at once? Yeah. I mean, the first volley of four, he avoided all of them, but... I think the second volley, like, just completely took him out. Was that my first, like, one-shot? No rockets, machine guns, okay. Oh, he's got the finger machine gun. No, that's the pixie. It's one of the pixies. Yeah, he avoided all that. Oh. 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 Yeah. That was a one shot. Yep. No. Oh, I love it when it works out like that. It's my favorite shit. It's my favorite part about doing this. Like, just one-shotting enemies. Like, it's awesome. Like, is it easy to avoid? Yeah, it's pretty easy to avoid. But, if it works, it works. High speed, quick strike, ugh. That's, that does not bode well, but. So it looks like I'm probably going to want to go with the volley, the two volleys, not the four volleys. Or the volleys of two missiles, not the volley of four missiles. So a total of four shots, not two shots. 
I know it's a little it's a little confusing talking about it, but um, all right, cool. We're saved and we have like a crap ton of credits now, so that's good. Uh, we're almost in the top ten, so that's that's exciting. And to those of you who wanted like just like missions and stuff and story and yeah I'm sorry but some people really like like you know the whole PvP kind of thing you know? shit and it's part of the game so oh my goodness Out of ammo. Kind of figured that wouldn't work super well on him. Yeah, he's kind of like a perfect counter to like this particular strategy. But like I could. Like I was saying, like I could go like even more on the offensive. I can like use some pods and stuff like that. I don't know for certain how expensive or heavy the pod things are, but I will check. Back unit left. ammunition storage 700 wait that's not too heavy I mean energy consumption is also fine I guess okay so I could actually use that Would slow us down, but I think they stay active for a little bit. So let's try this out with an AC test. Because I don't really usually use these weapons, but you know, if it works. Main system, engaging test mode. Oh, that's what it does. Okay. How fast can I fire these off? Oh. Okay. Warning, AP at 50%. Enemy at mark down. 
Okay. That works. I mean, it's a little bit, uh, there's a little bit of a delay, like a little bit of a cooldown, but, um, might work out pretty well. I don't know. I just need, well, actually, hold on, cancel. I want to see the other, um, There's like solid. Yeah, like this one. Oh, that would put me overweight. Oh, yeah. So we are pretty close to that, huh? I don't have to use the dingoes either. Well, this one does solid too. It's even heavier, though. Where's MG response attack ammo power? Key range, firing interval, ammo price. Okay. Um, let's buy those, and then probably just like some legs. I could go back to using the orcs, too. That would be enough for leg weight. Yeah, and these are pretty good too, so. And we have extra credits right now, it doesn't really matter. Probably need more max arm weight, honestly. Try this out. Just having like automated weapons is a uh, pretty freaking handy. Main system engaging test. Right, so which one? There it is. Okay, so it just kind of fires like that. All right. Definitely enough to keep him on his toes. Like, definitely distracted. And then, you know, if he starts focusing more on just, like, dodging the missiles, then some of those autonomous weapons might start hitting better. And honestly, like, it's a pretty cool loadout. Like, like that's pretty sick looking. <laughs> um... So let's go ahead and save uh, slot one. It's the older one. I mean, if it doesn't work out, then I just wasted a shitload of cash, but you know, we can always sell stuff. It's just, yeah. Bets are getting expensive. 130k is nothing to scoff at, so... But we got, like, five more minutes on this episode, so... Hopefully we can get, like, this and one more fight done.
fast. I mean, that's like the biggest problem here is like I sacrificed a lot of speed to like try to do it this way. Maybe even too much. Like, how much, how much slower am I now? It says 347 for max boost, but... Turning speed is 1079, max boost speed. It doesn't say, like, overall mobility. Mobility is a C. But, I mean, against most enemies this would be fine, but... We are slower. Part of that is like jumping aptitude and stuff like that, so um, I'm just gonna reload this one because that was before I spent like 400k on shit. <laughs> that doesn't really work out. I mean the orbit cannons, probably a good idea, but the other stuff, not as much. This was the right guy, right? Quartz clock? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Um, which I mean, the orbit cannons might still be a decent idea. They did seem to distract him more than the other stuff. This is the same one, but it's like, it's more lightweight and less energy drain. Okay, I, I, I'm not going to go through all 30 of them anyway, so I'm just going to go with the original Harpy. Oh wait, whoops. Gotta equip it. So we'll start out with the pods and then switch to volleys of two missiles probably and then just keep firing those for a bit. Make it 
count. got him like, hmm. like I know one of the larger missiles hit him like I know one of them did it's not yeah like yeah he's fast like he is fast I'm like, I have the credits, I could just like rematch them. It's just, it's 130k, I would rather not waste that much. Like, there's really no reason. Aside from like, save a little bit of time. But like, I'm just, I'm just gonna go over, we're at time, we are. I'm just gonna go a little bit long on this episode because like we have a few minutes and I would vastly prefer to do it this way like oh I didn't get the things oh crap I didn't get the things oh no Please. Yes! Oh, Svenja Arigimo. Oh, yeah. That feels good. I, that was my last shot. I didn't realize I didn't have the orbit cannons on me. I mean, they were weighing me down, not by like a lot, but enough. You know what I mean? But, ah, uh, that's a satisfying victory. Big Fat Daddy! Oh my goodness, Big Fat Daddy. Yes, please. <laughs> In mid-range, alright, fine. Um, alright, cool. Well, thank you guys very much for stopping by for this uh, episode of Armored Core Last Raven. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, on the next episode, we are going to challenge Big Fat Daddy for supremacy I guess <laughs> but um yeah that's that's what we're gonna be doing for that so um and hopefully it goes smoothly um I mean he is ranked 12th so like we're very close to the top 10 it's gonna be pretty cool and I like his toucan very cool very good very good uh very good looking thing there but um yeah and of course a uh, very special thank you going out to the farts and crap show members which at the time of recording this which again guys was like over a month ago is uh Novalis draconis but uh if you guys join more recently then i will add them as they come in as i am recording stuff but um yeah if you want to uh, be awesome like Novalis draconis check out the join button down below it's a paid subscription and you guys can support the show more directly while getting perks and it's pretty cool. But anyway, have a beautiful day and take care. Till next time.